I have a grape, my grapes. I have my laptop. We are ready to go. So last week, I think you guys enjoyed our new video. We were so close to a thousand likes. So go like this video up now and let's see if we can get a thousand likes. It'd be really awesome. And like last week, please give your suggestions to what I should read next month if you want me to do this again. And thank you guys. Hmm. We're gonna start with Playlist for the Dead by Michelle Falkoff. I think that's how you say her name. Remember, I'm answering the questions in the book. So what is it about? Favorite line, favorite character. Did I like it? And rate it. So, what's this book about? It is about Sam's best friend Hayden who has killed himself and Sam doesn't know why. The only thing Hayden has left for a clue is a playlist. So he begins to listen to that playlist and clues arise. My favourite line is... I don't, I don't actually know if it counts as a line. It's um, How to Disappear Completely by Radiohead because each chapter they have a song that is part of the playlist which I really liked that effect. And How to Disappear Completely is such a good choice because it really gets you into the frame of Hayden's mind when he was creating this playlist. My favourite character is Sam. You really connect to him and you feel what he's going through and you are going through the mystery as he does. Great time! Did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it. It has a sense of mystery which I always like in a book. Um, I felt slightly deflated at the end. The ending, I thought there was going to be a bigger reason, a bigger ending. My favourite was the music in the book so I found so much good music and I love my music so I really liked that. What do I rate it? I rate it three Grace's faces out of five. Next we have Being Billy. This is by Phil Earl. It's this boy called Billy who um, is growing up in a care home and he's really struggling. He has anger issues. Great time! My favourite line is I knew I was safe, I knew I was home. And as you read the book, you know home's a big thing for him. And feeling comfortable and feeling like he's not just living in a house, he's living in a home. And my favourite character is Ronnie. Nice character, authoritative character, a father figure. Did you enjoy it? I did. It was raw, it was emotional. It reminded me a bit like a more realistic and emotional Tracy Beaker, almost. I'm gonna give Being Billy four Grace's faces out of five. So for my next book, I'm just going to pop off for a second, but I will be back very soon, so stay there. I am back, guys, and the lighting has seemed to change, but I guess that's what happens when you try and draw whiskers. It took me a lot longer than you would think. Um, any guesses to what book I'm going to do next? <laughs> the Amazing Book is Not on Fire by Dan and Phil. Me and Grace actually got sent this book by Dan and Phil and it had a cute little message. Hi Grace and Amelia, here is a copy of our book. Feel free to use it as a giant paperweight or a snazzy footrest. Hope your life is awesome, love from Dan and Phil, which was really cute. And they also gave us sweets, which of course we ate straight away. This book is basically about Dan and Phil. If you don't know who they are, they are YouTubers. It's like all the little bitty gr gritty details. It's basically everything about them. My favourite line doesn't have that much context, but it's um, Dan talking about his, <laughs> his university. I had that mini eternal breakdown 99% of new students have, so I considered hiding by the fancy cheese and crying down the phone to my grandma, but I remember she'd probably be at her Sudoku club at that time. I don't know why I love that line so much, but it's so random, and it probably made me chuckle, so I liked that line. Favourite person in the book? Jessica. Did you enjoy it? I really did enjoy this book. Um, it was really creative, it was really funny, and I laughed out loud, which I don't usually do while reading books. And you learn a lot more about them as people, and I just thought it was a really clever, really interesting book. I mean, as you can see, it's just super colourful. I really enjoyed it. Um, so for this, I'm going to give five Grace's faces. You go, guys, and thank you for sending that to me. It was a nice little surprise. Okay, guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, remember, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It would really help. And all our links are down below. We also have a peer box link that's down below. I hope you have a good all day. Good all day? I hope you have a good day. <laughs> See you soon, guys. 